In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a quick face blur effect with motion tracking without the, all the work that you have to do if you're going to do it manually. All right, so as you can see here, I have a video here. This is a guy just walking. All right, so what you're going to do is you want to go over to effects and you want to search for face off blur. Okay, face off blur. Click on that. And it's going to be this first one here that says face off. Okay. So click drag and put this on top of the video. You can also put it in the video, but, uh, for, uh, visibility purposes, I'm going to put it on top of the video and I'm going to go ahead and extend this to fit the entire video. Now I'm going to play this. Look at that. You don't have to do any motion tracking manually. You don't have to, you know, resize and try to figure out what amounts of blur. You don't have to do that. It just does it for you, this, which is why I call it the quick face blur effect. Now, if you wanted to uh, customize this, you can double click on it on the blur effect itself. Now, you have the ability to change, you know, the actual uh, blur here. So if I wanted to put maybe an emoji like that here, <laughs> you're going to be able to do that, right? You can actually change it as well. Let's go back to our double click on here. You can change it to these other things here, right? Like that, or you can just do the regular blur effect, right? So this is the quick face blur effect. Uh, this is a pretty cool handy effect that you have within your effects uh, tab here. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go and hit the subscribe button below if it's already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.